bought some tools in the Philippines. I needed a small hammer and I thought let's see if they have stores where they sell like appliances and also tools. And look what I got. I got a nice small hammer and it's multi-purpose. I thought what is this? It's a hammer and something else. They know after work you have to relax with a beer. Only in the Philippines. Now today we have a lot of people in the backyard. All local people and my family-in-law. They are digging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They are digging a septic tank, a big hole in the ground where the waste of toilet and, and bathroom and, and basin goes into. There was none, yeah, a small one under the toilet now, I'll show you later. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Yummy! Yummy, exactly! Masarap. They're digging the septic tank and let's see how it how big that is that is a big hole it's two meters by one and a half and two and a half meters deep and the strong local guys are digging it for us and I will put in a time-lapse so you can see how it works Well, the septic tank they're making outside is part of our CR renovation project. And I'd really like to show you the situation how it is now. It's a situation how we bought the house. And be prepared to watch our CR as it is now. No door, only a curtain. We have light in here. What do we have? A toilet bowl. We put on a seat because mostly in the Philippines it's only the ceramic and not a seat. We put that on. You saw us buy it in the previous video. A bucket and this is called a tabo. You scoop up the water and you flush whatever you produced in the bowl. This we added to there was no water here, we had a water line installed and luckily we have water so we can also use the tabo to get water to take a shower. I hung up a little rack so you can put your towels and clothing that you want to wear. Three holes in the wall for ventilation, no ceiling. This is the rack we bought to put in yeah, like soapies and things. A broom to clean out the bare concrete wall, uh, floor, sorry. And we improvise a table for some shampoo and brushes and, 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 and things. Also for the doggy. We adopted a doggy that needs some medical treatment. And part of that is the shampoo against fungus that he has and fleas and ticks and whatever. But this is our CR now. Even the wall. It's not finished, also here no. And also here it's still block. And there of course. Only one wall, the back wall they finished off. And this is where they start the renovation. And the renovator will come tomorrow. Two guys will smoothen the walls, tile everything, make a toilet on this wall and the shower where the bowl is now on that wall or on that wall we're not sure yet we have to talk to him what is best what is handy but this is as primitive as it gets at least for me but don't forget millions of filipinos 
have a CR like this. They shower, they go to the toilet. No more and no different than this. And for a few weeks we used it. I really wanted to experience life as it is for an enormous amount of Filipino people. There's nothing wrong with it. It's clean, it works, but for a Westerner it's too much. I really want my basin, I want my flush toilet, I want my rain shower. Probably will shower cold water, but yeah it's always 30 degrees here, I don't need hot water. And if I need we can always add a water heater. But this is the start of our project, also the electricity. It's not exactly as it should be. No colored wiring. Nobody knows what is the hot wire and what is the neutral. And that all will be changed in a way that it's safe. Also ground the house. There's no ground rot in the outside. There's no grounding. So no earth leak switch. And I want those safety features. I really want them. But this is before and we keep you posted in how the after is and tomorrow they will start tomorrow morning so to be continued